While there has been no specific mention of what the U.S. will provide in terms of materiel, a program of base upgrades, personnel training and logistical support has begun. In recent months, international attention has focused on the U.S. Navy's newest combat ship, the USS Sioux City, LCS-11, which was announced to be retired after just five years of service. The decision to retire the ship despite its relatively young age has drawn mixed reactions, including in the Philippines, a strategic ally of the United States with significant maritime security interests in the Southeast Asian region. Based on discussions with active and retired military officers, analysts and industry experts, the U.S. has offered several options, including grants and concessional financing for new and used military equipment. The United States is expected to provide an unprecedented military assistance program to the Philippines to enhance its capacity to defend itself, given the Philippines' limited military resources. The potential acquisition of a Philippine Navy combat ship could be a step towards strengthening its maritime capabilities amid rising regional tensions. The Philippines is looking for smart solutions to enhance its maritime capabilities on a tight budget, and the USS Sioux City offers an attractive solution for the Philippine Navy. The Philippine Navy's decision to consider purchasing the USS Sioux City from the U.S. Navy is a sign of the Philippines' courage in defending its maritime sovereignty amidst military pressure from China. The U.S. Navy's opportunity to retire nine of its 16 Freedom Class LCS ships well ahead of their planned service life could save an estimated $4.3 billion in upgrade and maintenance costs. The USS Sioux City is one of the LCS warships designed for operations in shallow waters and coastal areas. Despite its advanced capabilities, the ship faces a number of challenges, including technical issues and criticism about its effectiveness in broader defense missions. The ship's retirement reflects a shift in U.S. military strategy in the region and could also create opportunities for other countries, including the Philippines. The Philippines has long sought to strengthen its navy, especially amid rising tensions in the South China Sea. With the retirement of the USS Sioux City, the Philippines has the opportunity to further cooperate with the U.S. in the procurement of more modern or second-hand warships that could help its efforts to secure its waters. In this context, the Philippines sees an opportunity to leverage ships that still have reliable and proven combat capabilities. The escalating tensions between the Philippines and China in the South China Sea have forced the Philippines to seek a quick and effective solution to secure its territory. This plan is not only about strengthening the Philippine Navy, but also about enhancing defense cooperation with the United States which is also facing challenges from China in the region. Although no final decision has been made, the defense relationship between the Philippines and the U.S. has been long-standing and this situation could prompt Manila to strengthen the alliance. The U.S. Navy's strategic decision to retire the USS Sioux City is an important signal not only to the United States but also to its allies, including the Philippines. By evaluating the opportunities presented by this development, the Philippines can strengthen its position in the region and navigate the complex security challenges ahead. The Philippines may see the retirement of the USS Sioux City as an opportunity to gain additional support from the U.S., both in training and in the provision of military technology. The transfer of these ships is intended to support the modernization plans of the armed forces of the Philippines, especially the maritime capabilities of the Philippine Navy given the archipelagic nature of the Philippines. These ships will likely be used for the same tasks as the U.S. Coast Guard, such as maritime interception and search and rescue.